Today, I'm going to share with you my arrangement and how I play it of Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix. Little Wing, and it's... I'm just going to do the intro to it. Okay, so um, what I like to do for my tone and texture is I put these two digits together, my thumb and my index finger, and make kind of a pick with the index finger, um, the nail. So I can get kind of a little bit of an aggressive and not so sterile or clean or precise uh, attack. So I get this, I can actually play it downward on its side like that. Or this, I can also play it on this side and get this instead of, you know, nice and pretty. I don't want that. So what I'm doing is uh, just I'm going to just show you in slow motion what I do and try not to talk too much here. So, so I come back up with the back, you know, uh, with my thumbnail. So, and then just dampen it. I can do that or I can go. comes into play using that as a pick. Now, the reason I do it there instead of there, which is nice, but I like doing it in an open, you know, first position. Because it projects to, uh, you know, out in the hall a little better. That's all. So. Sorry, a glissando. And then what I like to do is try to at least, um, you know, get something near the vocal melody. And that's. Some fills. So that's just a 
D minor 7th arpeggio or so it's thumb, 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 index middle like that. I'm just gonna play it a couple more times so you can see what I'm doing. So, again, but this time I do it like this. And I do thumb, index, middle, A finger, and then thumb. I can go no, whatever so I'm just gonna do it slow and then always that pedal tone try to get that pedal tone down so it has some support and you can play a little bit more in a polyphonic manner okay So this is how I play the solo. So we've got the glissando. It's his song. Uh, nobody's ever going to rival that. I don't think. But uh, this is just a, um, uh, a kind of homage to him here, if you will. So here's, the, here's how I play the solo. And then I do... dear life. So again, we've got a pentatonic in B minor. here so uh, we've got uh, from the beginning the solo movement. Now here again it's great you know I've talked about this before but it's wonderful to think uh, think about things 
in a finite way, in a, in a limited, you know, executed uh, in a group, with a group, uh, instead of just blur of notes. So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you can double the speed. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. help um, to say to count out loud it's harder you know it's good for your coordination but it organizes it it, it, it puts things uh, in it frames everything into groups of four in this case <laughs> with this. C major seventh. Again. Now, there's another way of doing it because this guitar handles that, but I've played a new uh, number of guitars that do not handle bending the strings very well. It goes way out of tune, fast, and it's, you know, it's not possible to use that approach. So what I do is I'll go... Or I'll try that again. So I'll, again... the most uh, practical fingering because you're coming from this figure and you're you're switching that for the first finger and then I go down so let me just give you both those uh, uh, we're gonna go. Now again, thinking groups. One, two, three, four. 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 One. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or whatever you want to do. Tone to get pedal note for the C. Now, here's a here's something you really want to think about if you're gonna do this little run here. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. One, two. So da, da, da. how I practice by the way I I, I, I think I, I, I break everything down into groups and uh, if I'm practicing at a fast tempo or once I get into a fast tempo uh, instead of going one two three four one two three I go da 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 and I accent the first of the four I go da 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 not da 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 so it doesn't just run together so it frames it, da 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 And I'll give you another little bit of uh, 
uh, insight here that for what it's worth. Um, I actually go a little farther and I will think uh, about making it very elastic how I how I group something. Let's uh, show you what I mean. I'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what I've done is instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, like that, I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I start out faster here and end up slowest on the fourth, uh, the count of four. So one, two, three, four, and I slightly pause. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And what that does is it makes me practice not rushing, uh, having this control, and you try it because it will blow your mind. Uh, everything becomes very, very elastic, and you're really in command. It feels like you're in command of space and time. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this. So let's just do that first half of the solo. second half is Because 
following that, you've got an A finger. And that's just A, pull off. So, sorry. Again. I'm going to start from the second one again. down here Last one, you're going to go P, I, M, I, instead of A finger, and then with the A finger. So it's A, pull off, M, I, P, I, M, I, A, M, or A, pull off, M, I, P, I, M, I. Okay, so without talking, I'm going to do this. The whole, the whole uh, lead solo. I'll do the second half, and then I'll do the first half and second half. Second. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna just do the second half of the solo. And then I'm going to do the first half with the second half, you know, the whole solo, so you can see it. First half, I'm going to combine them. Here we go.
as a outro, I do the intro again. And I'll show you the ultra, uh, there's a way I actually do the cadence at the end. Mm -hmm. There's a number of ways. You can do uh, this. I do this, I think, on the uh, video. I just... I, uh, in concerts, I've been doing this. Uh, so let's go from here. What it is, is a series of arpeggios, uh, or arpeggio name minor, uh, multiple position one. It's P-I-M-A. Now I get to this part, I go P-I-M-I, and then come back on the same note with the A finger. So it's P-I-M-I, A-M-I-P. Fast. And I'm going to do it slow now. By the way, I like when I'm coming back, I like to do an, um, an apoyando or, or um, rest stroke in English. Uh, on the A finger, it just steadies the hand, and I can get a little more power. So after the multiple position A minor arpeggio, I do a two position one. The fingering on that is thumb, thumb, index, middle, A finger, thumb, index, middle, a finger, so I pull down, pull up, and then A M I thumb hammer on, and play again with the thumb. So without talking. how I play Little Wing. Um, this is real. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. That's just my interpretation. Um, of course, there's no really replacing Jimi Hendrix and his inimitable, inimitable way of playing and his, uh, the beauty of his phrasing. I love Hendrix and his sounds. I don't think uh, we'd even know what an electric guitar uh, is today as far as some of the tones. Uh, there's Jeff Beck also, who's absolutely my favorite guitarist right now for electric, but Jimi Hendrix was a very important influence on me. If you Again, if you liked this video and got something from it, please subscribe and hit the notification button so you get the next video and you keep up. Enjoy your practice. Thank you.